see, man, thank goodness for Mike Benson, right? So Mike Benson just reported that um, that Shakur Stevenson and his people, his managers, just reached out to the WBO, right, to um to activate uh, Shakur Stevenson's mandatory position at the WBO after already doing it with the WBC. When we already know that Devin Haney is moving up to 140, right? I need y'all pro. The games these people play, bro, they got it saying that truth is stranger than fiction, bro. Because this is crystal clear daylight to you. That the people that's with Shakur, the people that's behind the scenes, his managers, Jay Prince and all them boys with rap a lot. They like, look here, Shakur. You know what I'm saying? They, man, they, 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 bro, it's nothing but a pimp game, bro. You know what I'm saying? And because, bro, you know, I like Shakur Stevenson's talent. I don't like his capping and his, and, his, and his cooning, right? I don't like it at all. But at the same time, he young, he impressionable and stuff like that. He not stupid, but at the same time, bro, he can play like he's stupid. Because, look, and, and then his fans, too. It's because, you know, Devin Haney people, we gonna have to hear... You know what I'm saying? Later on, four, five years down the line, oh, Devin Haney, Chuck Shakur, he was his WBO mandatory and his WBC mandatory. Now when you got pillars in this thing, that's that's like, hey, that's not true. You feel me? Haney already decided to move to 140, though. This man got no other business to take care of at 135. He cleaned it out and he defended his, 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 his undisputed titles twice. You feel me? Like, what more sense does it make when this man was literally nothing but skull and bones fighting on Machenko and defeating one of the greatest um, boxers of this generation, bro? This man already done put a stamp as one of the greatest lightweight champions of all time in a 200-year history of the lightweight division, bro. It's heavyweight first, light, lightweight second. Devin Haney has done more and accomplished more in that division than any other lightweight fighter before him, dog. You're going to have to go all the way back to like the 1930s and things of that nature. It's a fact to find any other lightweight, dog, that could contend with Devin Haney's accomplishments at 135. This man was born into 135, and now that this man is progressing and he's moving forward into 140 to go challenge a bona fide stamp champion at, at, at 140, you know, these bozos are going to um, create this smoke screen this distraction, this whole get your hand out of my pocket, you know, a uh, uh, fiasco, right? Just just a, a, a diversion tactic. That's all it is, bro. You feel me? And, and Shakur Stevenson, he gassed up over this. I'm sure he's going to be dropping tweets with the little uh, the little devil faces and then things like, oh, yeah, look what we're doing, you know. But, but bless his tongue, bro. It's because they already know that this man, the Haney's moving up. He's going to be relinquishing all them titles. And it goes to show all of y'all, down that... The whole time they've been cloud chasing Devin Haney, bro. They was never going to fight Devin Haney. What don't y'all understand about that, right? All y'all out there that's saying that, oh, Haney's ducking uh, Tank and, um, and, and, and Shakur Stevenson. He was, they was never going to fight him. Even for the titles, they was never going to fight him. But I'm willing to bet my bottom dollar, right? That Javante Tank Davis is going to be activated into that WBA Super at 140 as soon as um Haney move up. That's going to make him a champion. And what y'all going to say about that once he move up? Once the WBA and Gilberto Mendoza and all them boys move him up to the uh to, to, to the WBA Super once Haney move up to 140, right? I guarantee you Tank ain't going to relinquish that title unless he loses on scale. Feel me? But you know he ain't gonna be able to play his old stupid rehydration clause games, as the stupid WBA, uh, as the I said stupid, as the as the uh, super WBA champion, right? He ain't gonna be able to play them stupid little uh, little pit pat uh, weight games that he been doing. You hear I me? Mean? So, bro, this go to show you, dog, that the games that these people have been playing with the with the um with the sanctioning bodies, right? And, and not only that, but Shakur Stevenson is giving Devin Haney his franchise champion a deadline. So they go to show you that that franchise title that they talk about, that destination, it don't even mean nothing, bro. You feel me? The man, man, look, bro. Haney already made his decision. Look, he going to challenge himself at 140. It's nothing else for him to do at 135, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tanking them boys been playing them stupid games for how long now, bro? You know what I'm saying? For how long Tank went all the way up to 140 to go fight Mario Barrios. And he stepped over... 
his WBA mandatory then. You feel me? At 135. What are y'all talking about, though? You see, the, 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 all these stupid dudes, bro. These dudes is irritated, son. I swear for Christ Jesus, dog. These dudes is crazy. You feel me? And, and y'all see the games that Shakur Stevenson is playing. His people playing. These little mind games, bro. These patronizing games. Yeah, you see Shakur. You see what we doing for you. Yeah, you see how he ducked you, right? You see how he done moved on up. Uh, the 140 and, and, and ducked you, Shakur. And he, 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 he getting gassed up. Yeah, he ducked me. Yeah, he knew I was going to smoke him. But see, reality is starting to sink in. And Shakur, I believe, in his mind. You feel me? Because common sense got to sink in like, man, why they activate my WBO mandatory when he's leaving the division? Huh? Huh? The whole time, it was a stupid game. Huh? The whole time, it was a stupid game. And all y'all bozos fell for the okie doke. The same game that they playing with Javante Tank Davis. But you see, Devin Haney ain't playing no games, y'all. How is Javante Tank Davis playing games? I know some stupid ones gonna be asking me, you hear me? How is Tank playing games? He playing the Spanish Hispanic game. This man don't know how to say nothing in Spanish. Don't know how to read in English. Let me stop. That, you know what I mean? You know, I, I got love for my dog, you hear me? Y'all be thinking I be smashing Tank, you hear me? This man don't even know how to say uh, one, two, three in Spanish. But he gonna go fight them, them, them Hispanics. You feel me? Playing a little stupid Hispanic game. You feel me? So we already know he waiting for uh Pitbull Cruz to get done with um with uh, uh whoever this dude he fighting. And I think Pitbull Cruz gonna lose to that dude. And Javante Tank Davis, he all of a sudden gonna be the super WBA champion. And y'all gonna play around with him. These old stupid games, these boys playing with the sanctioning bodies. And how the sanctioning bodies is disrespecting my dog, Devin the Dream Haney, when he about to make another undisputed run, unprecedented run at 140. You feel me? Y'all bulls always gonna still sit in my dog ducking this and ducking that, ducking the smoke and all this other nonsense. When Shakur Stevenson, y'all see it, clear as daylight. <laughs> Shout out Mike Benson.